And we're back. This is take. How many of these have I done? Five? I, think <laughs> I don't know. No, no. I think this is take five. It might be take six. Of, of, of your podcast. podcast? Yeah. I have no idea. I didn't six even know it existed them. until yesterday. Or not yesterday. <laughs> A few days <laughs> ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, six. Man, that's wild. Um, today we're talking about Coraline. Uh, you just cut your knuckles <laughs> right into the <laughs> microphone. I wasn't sure how loud it'd be. Coraline, huh? Our favorite film. It's really <laughs> for good. years. It's been our favorite film for many years. Yeah, I really like Coraline. I'm always. I used to always watch it with my dad, and like when I would stay over his house, we would watch it, and I wouldn't be able to fall asleep because the credits scared me. It's scary. <laughs> just the credits, like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's the scary too. The scene but is yes. scary where they're making the doll. Yes. That's like ingrained in my mind. I know. The part at the end for something about the like mice on the walls and stuff and the like. Oh, dude, the scariest part for me ever is that part where the mice circle in front of the brick wall right before she like opens the door the first time. I don't know why that scared me so bad. I just, that's just like the scariest part for me. The ghost, when she's in like the room with all the ghost kids, that was the scariest for me. Oh, yeah. So I was like, don't move that sheet. When they like, yeah. jump. also how disgusting the sheet was. Yeah. Was Covered gross. in liquid. That's pretty gross. Oh, her like, that part where she like, you know, when she's in that ghost room, the mom, like, goes through the yeah. wall or whatever. That part's scary, too. Yeah. Like Wait, should face. we should we first explain the plot of the movie? Oh, yes. Would you like to? Yeah, sure, I will. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Okay, okay so will you, will you explain to us the plot <laughs> of the <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> okay, so it starts with this little girl. She's, like, 10 years old. She moves into a new house, okay? Moves away from her friends. She's really sad. In the house, she lives with her mom and her dad. She's an only child. Um, she meets this guy named Wyborn. <laughs> Not, like, in a dating way. I don't know why I said she meets this guy. She meets, but this, <laughs> she meets this fine fellow. <laughs> but his name's Wyborn. And he has a cat. Um, uh, he'll come back. Uh, so she finds a door in her house, and um, it's a very small door. She climbs through it in the night, and it turns into this like, um, like other like an exact copy of the world she's in and everything, including her mom and her dad, and even like um, Wyborn and except for the cat, the cat comes through, but um, like the real cat. But okay, she goes in there. You know, the other mothers turns out she's evil she steals her parents and um she finds the souls of other lost children who the other mother tried to like kill um and then she has to set them free and like um save her parents because she kidnaps her parents um and then at the very end after she has taken the snow globe that her parents are in she has to um go destroy the beldum or whatever it's like just the hand that like escaped into the real world and she throws it down the well along with her blanket that she loves yeah and what's kind of cool is the writing is really concise so it's kind of easy to watch it mm -hmm. like it's very fast like it i didn't like check my phone to see like what time it was or something like that it's really fast it's like an hour and a half or something isn't yeah. it yeah it's pretty short for a movie and um it's also cool, like, the writing, like, she gets out. Mm -hmm. Like, she escapes, but then she has to go back. Oh, yeah, because her parents are gone. Yeah. She comes home, she slams the door. She's like, Mom, I'm home. And it's really sad because they're not there. And then she, like, packs all her things. And, like, in this, in this montage, as she takes the cat, she goes back in. Oh, and that then like when she's going back in, she like sees her mom in the doorway. That part always made me sad. Yeah. She was like melting so she's like, Coraline, Coraline, we've missed you. You came back to save us or whatever. And she gives her a hug and it's the other mother. Yeah. And <laughs> um, another thing I really like about this, the music. Yeah. Is really good. The music and in the intro and at the end are both really good. I'm surprised neither of us thought to ask that for pops. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. It's true. The intro's so good. Like, I just, like... Oh, Someone would this... need to play the piano for the intro, though. 
Mm. I can play. Mm. You want to do it? Oh. <laughs> um, it was really good. It actually reminded me a little bit of a ballet. And it wasn't just because of like mm-hmm. the jumping mice, but like all the music. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this this kind of feels like a ballet, which I don't know if that was the point. But. It's very like, not dance oriented, but it feels like there's a lot of like, like the acrobatics and yeah. the dancing and the marching band and the like. It's very like musical. It almost is like a dance. Like like the mm-hmm. mice jumping is all like to the music and. It's... Yeah, they have that little da- like each yeah. run. There's like a song for each portion or whatever. There's like the the orchestra that plays in the acrobats room, and then the dad sings her a song in the garden, and like the the like plants like make a song or whatever, mm-hmm. and then the the, um, jumping mice and what is his name? The the Russian guy. Bobinski. Bobinski. Yeah, he he is his mice and they do a dance too. Oh, like whole choreographed dance. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I I almost wonder if this would be a good movie as a silent movie, like if it was just mm-hmm. the songs. Like I think that would be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I I like her like adventuring i feel like that's true like the dialogue's not because there's not very much of this movie that doesn't have music yeah also i feel like i can't think of a time where the dialogue was like really necessary you know yeah. like it's it's cool with just like i don't know that would be interesting if it weren't like a i mean it's not really it would you call it a kid's movie i mean i watched it when i was like really little yeah but it was really scary i feel like you enjoy it more the more you age but you know that's what neil gaiman he's not is he like a child like he doesn't usually write for children necessarily does he it's just like like i don't think his like the book was meant for kids or whatever no yeah the book is scary there's like this one like have you ever read the book? Mm-mm. In Babinski's thing, like, I just remember it was either a diff. there was, like, one extra thing, or it was Babinski, but it was different, and she's, like, in an attic or something, and it's so creepy in the book, like, how she escapes the attic, but it's a lot different than the attic in, um, the, like, I don't know, it just, it, that scene is a lot different than in the movie. Yeah. And it's a lot scarier, too, so I feel like. It's already pretty scary, though. I know. It but scared me as a kid. Yeah. The little spider web sequence was really scary. Which one? Mm-hmm. Like where she's in... Where she's in the spider web. Oh, and she's chasing her. Yeah. Yeah. Or the door, like, getting closer. And yes. Closer. That was That's really scary. scary. And, oh, and the hand freaked me out. Yeah. Like, the... Um, I really liked the... Um, how the hand, like, showed up all the time. Like, like the, the one lightning. I can remember is lightning. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. The tea I like, leaves. Like the foreshad, yeah. The giraffe. The giraffe. <laughs> there are so many, like, quotes in this. Mm-hmm. I guess, like, that is the nice like, thing of the dialogue is, like, I can quote a large amount of this I movie. can quote that one part where she's, like, uh, <laughs> where she's, like, um, in three of, in each of three wonders I've made just for you, a ghost's eye is hidden in plain sight. That's what she says. Really good. And, then, <laughs> and then she like goes off. Then she makes her bacon and eggs. Dude, the food in this movie looks bomb. I I feel like she should have known she was evil from the start, but played her cards right. She could have gone in only like two times, three Just times. Eaten the bomb food and, and then left before yeah. she told her stole her parents. Before she told on her. Before she told her. Hey, don't do this. <laughs> Dude, did you bring discussion questions? Is that what you had? I, it was more of just, like, thoughts. Um, mm-hmm. I wrote down... Well, I don't have it. I forgot my notebook at home. So, we're just... Do you remember what you wrote? Uh, sort of. I wrote about um, the death of stop motion. Because we don't really have that anymore. Um, maybe. I feel like when it is used, it's for short films yeah. or something. Because it's difficult. Yeah, the Coraline production, I watched this, like, not a documentary, it was, like, a really short video about it, but how, like, small they were and how many different faces they had to make for her, and, like, literally, like, the, like, the set, or the, whatever it's called, the, the set, I guess, Mm -hmm. that she's on is very, it's so small, and they're, like, moving them with, like, like, such precision for everything, like, 
very like very impressive i feel like yeah and i just feel like there's not i haven't been switching at all that's Wait, okay that's you. <laughs> i feel like there's not like a stop motion movie that i think is bad like i can't think of one where i was like that's not good yeah there's some like i love dogs is fine it's a wes anderson what's i love dogs second chance breakfast okay What's I Love Dogs? It's a Wes Anderson movie where like it's like this kid on an island where like people send their dogs and they're trying to get off. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I love that or movie. Or the little that's kid. really cute movie. It's cute. Kubo is that what you were about to say? Yeah. Yes. Is that one good? I never watched. I that. love that movie. Yeah, that's I just. I don't also think... really liked I Love Dogs or the dog movie. I thought it was really cute. I just really don't cute. think that there's like a bad mm -hmm. stop motion movie. I don't think. Like, I think it's good, but I don't, like, watch it too often because I, I do find it kind of boring. But just the original Rudolph, like... Oh, yeah, the Christmas ones. Yeah, like, it's good. I just, like... And it's a classic. I just don't like watching it very much. I watched it this Christmas, but it also had, like, more ads in it than the length of the movie. So <laughs> it's literally, like, a 45-minute movie, but... On whatever I watched it on, it was like an hour of ads. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, not that one. Um, I don't know if I have discussion. Do you have like last thoughts about it? Things that you're just dying to say? Um. Well, I don't know. Maybe like maybe like theories. Like, what do you think about if they made another film? Like, what do you think? Do you think the Beldum is dead? No, she's just in the other world. Uh, how does how is it closed off completely? Like I didn't really understand. It's not. Like she can still get in, just the door's locked. Yeah. Oh, I guess she's just waiting key. for someone to unlock the door. So maybe like in a sequel, Coraline's like a kid. Mhm. Mm or but someone else moves in. I'm wondering something. maybe like because Coraline probably wouldn't move in there, yeah. but. Or maybe if she has a kid and her parents live there and she brings yeah. him over to like, I but really would. For that to happen, the kid would have to climb into that well. <laughs> like, maybe it's like the hand down there reforms itself or something and brings the key back to the door or something that would... like like a little like like it was in like needles connected to each other yeah. it could be like three needles survive and they take it all the yeah. way back you know like it probably i feel like they could pull off a good sequel but i just don't think they want to because no one wants to do stop motion I know it's just so much work. it would be so good though. I want I I'd want watch it. so bad. Yes, me too. I feel like it would be good if it was the same like people working on it, you know, because mm -hmm. they did such a good. It also feels like it it needs like I'm. It's one of those things where when you finish it, you like feel so empty because it was so good, and you, now you're sad and you have no purpose anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like when you finish a good series and oh gosh, that's what happened yeah. after Avatar. Like they made they made a new one. I know. I Have you seen any of it? I've watched the first half. I honestly think it's pretty. Bye. That Bye. One. Bye. 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 <laughs>